Hey guys, make sure you stay until the end. If you make one common mistake, you can spend thousands of dollars on parts and diagnostics you don't need. Stay with us and we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Toyota Sienna this generation right here from year 2011 to year 2020. If you have one of those, you need to find where the fuses for the rear wiper is located, which fuses you need to check for rear window wiper, where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste your money. Why it's important to test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take things completely apart. We show you guys how to do electrical, mechanical, bodywork, a little bit of everything guys. If you have one of those vehicles that we're making videos on, subscribe. We will put quite a few videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. All together guys, on our channels, we have more than 12,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars. Now, also, if you need to buy any parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, that way guys, you do not waste your money and time, we'll share in our videos where you can buy parts, tools, uh, fuses, relays, because some fuses guys and relays are special, specific, especially for that Toyota Sienna, you have those special fuses right here, uh, you also have that special integration relay right here, and the other relays, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping guys, uh, because sometimes they could be also really hard to find. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So the rear window wiper fuse guys, where you can expect to find it? Okay, we'll demonstrate on this 2012 Toyota Sienna right here. You guys have two different fuse boxes in that minivan and today we'll be working in both. The first one is on the driver's side. Open the door. Look guys above the pedals under the dash on the left side all the way upside down. You will see one white cover that will look like this one. Now go ahead open it. Behind it you have a fuse box layout that looks like this one. This is the interior fuse box. Now here guys before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system i'll never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery, guys, okay, common mistake people make, it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules, how we know about that? We burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost us $2,000 guys, so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first, check it out for your convenience. Specifically here we need to check two fuses then we need to go to a different fuse box come in that middle row right here and this is fuse now 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 here then we have 23 that fuse right here 7.5 and fuse will need to be checked after that guys you will need to check uh, one more fuse for the rear wipers and this is 25 6 7 8 fuse number 28 right here guys will need to be checked as well now you have one more under the hood open the hood and facing the engine on the right side we have a fuse box under this cover go ahead open it and here you're going to find another fuse that you need to check and this is fuse number 35 for multiple things but one of them is the rear wiper hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time